correct? Correct. That's all they were is servicing, just like we're finding out here, Anchor Bank and Union Federal are both servicing companies only. Right. And do you know who holds your original note and mortgage? And not at this time, no. Have you asked for that information? Absolutely. Over and over and over, documents going out, certified mail to them. As long as you went to the UW of Madison or Marquette of Milwaukee, you do not have to take the bar test. You're exempt for taking the bar test. And everyone that I dealt with, every lawyer, every judge, has went to Marquette or the UW of Madison, Wisconsin. Every one of them did. So this is the neighborhood where you have some properties to take it, right? Yes, downtown Madison, okay. Wisconsin. And what's That's that? Like uh, Mendota, straight ahead. We have three lakes here. It's a very nice town. Mendota, Monona, and Lake Wabisa. Three lakes that are just centered in the middle of the town in Madison, Wisconsin. Now that's not all that's in the middle of Madison or in the middle of Wisconsin. What's in the middle of Madison and in Wisconsin is a whole lot of trouble. Scott Walker is the poster boy for that. Now when I got up this morning, headed out here, I knew that I would watch this man, Randy Paul, uh, fight against the banking behemoths uh, that are at Union Federal and over at Anchor Bank. Now I warned them a long time ago that I would be uh, coming in here to review these cases that are going on right now in terms of unlawful foreclosure and now we see that there is a potentially unlawful assignment of rents. This is a pretty intense issue. Let me uh, describe it for a moment before I return you to Mr. Paul. Now Wisconsin, in, in a receivership case, Wisconsin has not adopted the uh, Universal Assignment of Rents Act. So uh, therefore, uh, it, without that, the collection of rents by a, a mortgagee uh, on the mere notice of an alleged default is not really consonant, in my opinion, with the underlying scheme of having a judicial foreclosure state, which is part of the structure here. Uh, not to mention the fact that we have bank executives like this woman, a Betsy Hessel, show up at court hearings claiming to represent tenants without any law degree or legal license, to my knowledge. Now, uh, lastly, the cases that are on point are kind of old, and none of them, uh, they, 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 don't, they don't exist in a current market where we have the issues of collateralization, uh, uh, illegal, uh, we have forged documents, robo-signers, and in Wisconsin, the case of Aurora Loan Servicing uh, versus Carlson, 2011, Wisconsin App 58, uh, just 20 miles down the road, uh, denied standing to a servicer like this. Uh, no proof of ownership, get out of court. Three, three tenants were paying Union Federal and they were not supposed to. They were notified at the time and the bank sent letters off before we even had a hearing or the 20 days that I had to respond back. They hurried up and tried to railroad a receivership. Center. Who's there? I'm John D. Center, the lawyer for Union Federal. He works for Niederman and Butcher. Right there's the sign you can see. They're at 401 Charmony Drive. He's the one that kept on sending me letters telling me the notes down in Kiwani, Illinois. The notes down there, the notes down there. Well, they haven't provided me with the note yet. I paid them, settled a debt with a registered bond, and they still didn't produce the note. They don't have the note. Did they send you a color copy of the note? Not. We asked for it, and they never did anything. They didn't respond whatsoever. Who's that? Who's in that building over there? Tom Geyer. Yeah. He's the owner of Beige Funding. They gave me a loan. His office is right here on the right-hand side in the Brown Building. You'll be able to see that he owns a Accord Realty too. Uh -huh. uh, he he owns the building, partners or whatever he has. Yeah. And then he rents to Union Federal, which you'll see up on the right-hand side here. Okay. And these are all very very high-end condos that he did. I see that. Yeah, in the state. In the it's kind of wild how a guy all once. Didn't have much for property all at once in the last 10 years. It has a whole bunch of property real estate and doing high end condos here. You can see that they have a court realty there and Union Federal that he's in cahoots with, yeah, with the bank. That. Right in the shadow of the state house, too. He was the one that gave me the loan, and then all at once he assigned it one month after to Union Federal. I can see that right in the shadow of the state house. It doesn't get any more cherry than that, does it? It's the best of the best. Then just a half a block down the road to the right here is Anchor Bank that he got me to loan with. But there, every loan that I did went through Tom Geyer. 
Jeffs.net Mortgage Movies, and I was running late this morning, and the uh, <laughs> funny thing was, uh, I said, well, i got to get out of here, I said, I've got a movie to make about mortgage fraud, 